loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. It feels so good to have you here now. If you are part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe family, welcome back. I love you. Welcome back to your safe space, your sanctuary, and your sacred space, one of the sacred spaces that we share together. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be diving into the energy of this week ahead. I'm going to be taking my time as I sit with the guides and allow them to talk to me and let me know what we need to know for the week ahead. Now, the week that I'm referring to is that of November 15th and moving forward the seven days to follow that. There are two decks that I'm feeling really called to shuffle and work with. The first one is the After Tarot, which I've been vibing with, and the second is the African Tarot, which was sent to me, and I'm very much so vibing with it. So having said that, you guys, I do have my chart pulled up on the left. I will be referring to that, but I'm going to allow Spirit to talk to me and speak to me through the cards. So what is it that we need to, this one definitely wants to jump out. Okay, right away, interesting. The card that just jumped out was a Six of Swords reverse. I'll show it to you in just a moment. But my first initial reaction with this is this feeling of panic. It feels like, get out, like, get out, get out, get out. Like running or escape. Holy goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and talk, you guys. Um... This, you, you guys already know, you know, I don't sugarcoat my messages and I allow spirit to just kind of speak and move as it will, as it does. There's this, um, the cards that are jumping out, right? So first ones, we have the hanged man, and then we also have six of swords reversed. This feels very, um, believe it or not, this gives me kind of like panicky vibes, um, I'm concerned about what it is that we're losing. I'm concerned about, I just heard the words, um, Spirit said, past transgressions, trans, transgressions. So this is giving me, I just heard the word default, default setting. Spirit said the default setting. So what this is showing me right now is there's this hyper, like hypertension, like this tense, um, I, I want to, the word is fixation with things going wrong. I'm hearing the word collapsing, like things you're, you're expecting things to collapse. I just heard the word deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorate. You're, you're expecting the worst to occur. You're expecting things to crumble. Something that is solid, it's, it's like something over time, it starts to get worn down. Um, what it's reminding me of is like a tooth, like a strong tooth. And then if you put sugars on it or if there's something wrong with the body or the imbalance within the body, how something that is strong and built to kind of grind things down or knock things down, it actually starts to um, lose its strength. Spirit is showing this because uh, it's giving me very much Saturn vibes. Um, currently, Saturn is moving through the sign of Aquarius, um, squaring off pretty, getting pretty tight to Uranus, Uranus retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So there's this energy of stubbornness um, and wanting to protect, to defend the goal, the relationship, this, I don't want to say dream, but this vision that you have for yourself, that you have for your life. And... To the point where over time when things hit that or things wear away at the enamel of it or or keep striking it, it starts to break down the strength of, it starts to, comp the, the, the goal, the dream, the wish, the vision, the relationship, the career, the hope, the health starts to deteriorate over time. Now it feels like there's one small thing, now don't, Hold me to this yet. I'm just channeling right now. I'm very open and we just got started. But it feels like there's one small thing that you're witnessing or that occurs that makes you feel like we. I'm getting out. I'm done. I'm jumping. It's like in a boat and you jump out of the boat. 
and clearly Six of Swords reversed is... Well, Six of Swords up, upright is usually about moving forward from one place within your life, from one position in your life, and moving on to the next position. And, and with hope and expectation that what you're moving towards is better than where you've come from. But you're, there's this, again, this hypertension, this hyper, there's a lot of stress within the body, within the mind, within this space this week that spirit wants you to be aware of that makes you feel like you are going to need and want to abandon ship holy crap and as i'm saying that at the base of this reading we have the ten of swords so i don't know if this is going to focus i'm going to hope that it does focus a little better it's fine i've dropped this camera a few times but ten of swords is that of i just heard picking up the pieces but i've i also heard picking up where we left off it feels like, and I'm being called to look back to the hangman card, this hanging in suspension and waiting to see. Uh, what I heard is, um, it kind of gives me a feeling of waiting for something else or waiting for someone else to seal the fate in the cards, you know what I mean? So it's you're waiting for something to seal your fate. You're waiting for something to give you clarity. Um, I'm hearing waiting with a bated breath, like really on pins and needles. There's a strong striking feeling of anxiety and tension. And I feel like you're waiting. If you see one thing wrong, if you see one thing off, you're going to want to jump overboard you're going to want to jump jump and abandon ship leave it be done with it i want to talk to spirit about that a little further but we also have the three of swords we have two of pentacles and we have five of pentacles reversed there's this feeling of expecting the worst I keep hearing, you know, I've been here before, we've done this, we've done this, we've been here, we've done this. Or um, I'm also, the energy is flipping. So there's, it feels like punishment. So now it's flipping to, there's some of you guys who are, I don't want to say beating yourself up, but there's a certain way that you are. Like there's a certain... Everyone is born with their own strengths and gifts and talents. And even the highest talented person has quote unquote faults that come from the things that make them gifted. For example, let's say you're a creative person. You may not, you may be the most creative person, you know, and your, your gift is to create, to make art, to be inspired, but you can't force that. So you may have a difficult time with being on time to certain things or thinking about life in a logical, realistic manner. Why? Because you're wired to be creative. You're wired to be in the cosmos. So there's also this energy right now that I'm sensing that there's a person who is trying to strike a personality trait or strike something from their being that this is how you were born, this is how you were created, and you want to learn how to accept and to embrace the, the good and the bad, and spirit is not seeing it as anything other than a blessing. So that's a very specific message, but I'm really seeing someone trying to like all the aspects within themselves and spirit is like you you don't want to be so so heavy on yourself you don't want to be so punishing towards yourself this week can you focus on allowing yourself to accept all of what makes you you i'm also getting an interesting message about comparison comparing your progress, comparing how you show up, comparing your growth, your maturity 
to that of your peers or someone that you respect. And Spirit is trying to ask you this week to lay that to rest as best as you can and to spend more time acknowledging your own growth, your own uniqueness. And if you need to, spend more time developing what makes you you. I didn't notice this, but Jupiter and the part of fortune are direct, directly conjunct on the 15th in the sign of Aquarius. This is really about, yeah, five of swords just jumped out. This is really about you accepting what makes you different, what makes you eccentric. For some of you guys, you know that you're not born to fit in. But there's this also this need for acceptance by your peers from a, a, another person, someone that you really admire. On the flip side, I'm seeing that, yeah, Ten of Cups. On the flip side, I'm seeing that someone may feel very highly about you, so they are intimidated. They're intimidated to approach. Speak to me about that. Hermit card. They're needing to do a bit more soul searching. I'm also getting an image of uh, corporate America, believe it or not. Something about the budgets, the budgets. Um, this reminds me of people who are getting paid, not based upon what they deserve, but what people can afford. Having said that, don't base your value on what other people are offering to you. I want you to see that the hermit is carrying a snake and also a lantern and also this dark dog at its feet. This gives me the message of loyalty, protection, knowledge, wisdom, but it's also a bit intimidating because there are some people who they want the best for you, but they're also afraid to lose you. I just heard, um, turn off the light. And when I saw, when I heard turn off the light, I saw stars scattered all around the, all around the star, like all around the sky. And what they're saying is this person or this thing or this organization doesn't really want you to see your full potential because they know that if you actually knew your full potential that you would go and seek other, others or the other. So there's this want to kind of keep you here. They give you just enough here because they can't afford right now to give to you more. However, there's a strong sense with this emperor card this is not an intuitive card. This is more logical and rational and reason. However, I'm getting a sense that this is something that you have intuitively sensed for a, a while. And it's this week that you are moving beyond your intuitive feelings, your gut instincts. And now you are doing the math. The math isn't adding up. So you can see and feel just by a list and just by looking at it and being rational that you truly should be set up for more and you may be, want, you may be wanting to explore that. Having said that, the judgment card is here. This is highlighting awareness within yourself. I'm also hearing calling a spade a spade. So, I and the, the quote, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, if it walks like a duck, 
it's a chicken. You know what I mean? So what that's saying is that someone or something can try to tell you, and, and it doesn't feel malicious. It just feels fear-based, lack-based, survival mode. So this is someone who's trying to sell to you a vision, a future, a promise, a raise, a promotion that they may not necessarily have yet. So I, I'm hearing that their investment can only go so far. And having said that, it's bringing me back full circle to wanting to talk to you guys about how there's this feeling of panic with the Six of Swords. Again, I feel that you have been intuitively sensing a disruption. You've been intuitively sensing transformation. We talked about this last week. And at the time of me filming, this is actually the week that I, but I'm filming early because your girl is becoming far more efficient with her time. You know, shout out to me, Pastor Patrick. Anyways, um, but this is something that you've been intuitively sensing and now you're, it's really starting to become like obnoxiously clear to you, obnoxiously clear, and you're starting to set a different groundwork, like a different framework that says, in order for this to be built in this way, like I'm going to need this, 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 and this. Like, don't tell me that you're going to be able to pull through, pull up. Knight of Cups is here. Six of Wands reversed. King of Swords reversed. The Moon card. Let's just stop right there. No, let's keep on going. Two of Wands reversed. What is this showing me? The Knight of Cups, God bless his heart. He's very romantic. Very romantic. Upright or reversed. He's romantic through and through very sensitive, very compassionate, very empathetic, very understanding. The problem with the Knight of Cups is that it's not always grounded and based in reality. It's more about a fantasy. It's more about the romantic story. It's all well and good, and the poetry is beautiful, but I, you're, I need more is what I'm hearing. And Six of Wands says, I hear you telling me, me you know, telling me the poetry. I hear you writing me the song. But now you're making me turn into an asshole. King of Swords reversed is the asshole card. One of my favorite asshole cards. <laughs> because he does not take any shit. And he could snap easily when King of Swords is reversed. That energy is very snappy. It's snippy. It's cold. It's punishing. Um... And when the Knight of Cups shows up with this poetry and says, I want to offer you the world, I, I'm going to make you this promise, Six of Wands can't complete the promise, and Two of Wands says, where it at? I need to see it. And the Moon card says, I just, I want to take it from a fantasy, from an illusion to a promise into a reality, and I need to see the plan. That's what I need to see. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, this feels like the past is the past. It's it's already, we're not, it's like a person who's realizing, like, I'm not trying to relive this. I've seen this, been there, done that. And it with this spark showing up, with this Ace of Wands, it doesn't necessarily feel like a spark of creativity. It's more like a spark, aha moment in your head, especially with the Judgment card here. And the Emperor card here that says, you know what? We've been here. We've done that before. And I would be shooting myself in the foot if I went along with this again. Now, that's just the start for this week. So, Spirit Guides... To give advice would be a blessing. We ask that of you now. What do we do this week? 
Interestingly enough, um, February is coming through. Wow. I want to sit with this because they, I heard the word token. So the chariot card is here as well as the moon card. And with these two cards, the word that it is I'm hearing is token. What is the word token? Why does it, why is it showing up? Token. Oh my gosh, the hangman. Again. Token is like an object. It's kind of giving me like a down payment. Down payment type of vibes. I just heard how far can your investment take you? How far can this investment take you? Some of you guys are going to be afraid to ask for this, but I'm being led to, to say this to you. So some of you guys are, are being led to ask for a down payment or some type of like uh, commitment that comes with an investment. And if this doesn't follow through, especially with the chariot card here, if you can't pull through, if you don't pull up, if I don't see it with the moon card here and the hanged man, if it doesn't show up, there's going to be, I'm keeping the security deposit. I'm keeping the down payment. I'm keeping this. So what are you going to give me now so that I can feel a little bit more comfortable investing in you, believing in you, listening to your word? Two of swords reversed, six of swords reversed. Again, this is a totally separate deck, you guys. This is the African tarot that I'm working with. And now eight of swords. This is the anxiety that I was talking about before. This is someone... I'm hearing, oh shit, he's serious, or oh shit, she's serious about this. And you're just like, yeah. What can you give to me right now that will make me believe you? Ace of Cups. So for some of you guys, it's going to be a word, a promise. Don't underestimate the value of someone's promise or someone's word unless they are notorious for breaking their word. This person, I, I do not feel malicious vibes from them. I feel that they just know a good thing when they see it and they're not ready to let go of that. But at the same time, it's not acceptable, acceptable for them to make promises that they can't keep. The next card is the Hierophant that jumped out. So there is a certain level of honor, like is what is, is that I'm hearing, like a high honor, something that you are deserving of. Something that is, I mean, it does feel like a promise. Like the higher font will, will absolutely follow through with its word. And you'll get very far with that, especially with the chariot card here. Nine of Swords just jumped out. Yeah, they're just, they're a little panicky. Whoever this is, maybe it's you having to state your requirements. I just heard for some of you guys, I'm just scared to be hopeful. I hear you. With the Hangman card, that is a reminder that at points within our lives as human beings, we are going to need to be vulnerable we're going to need to put ourselves out there and wait to see what happens and we can't control the outcome as much as we want to high priestess i was just thinking in my head you know give us a sign and high priestess says you know you know what to do i just heard you are aware you are aware you're not sitting in the dark about this Seven of Wands, there's a part of you that might be a little frustrated, tired, feeling incapable, unable to fight one more battle. 
Spirit talk to us about that. What's the, yeah. Tower card. This is a feeling of don't be afraid of gaining clarity. Seven of Cups. A new direction. This new direction feels soft. It feels loving. It feels open. It feels receptive. It feels different. I'm going to switch back to the African, I'm sorry, the after tarot. This week, where is this person headed? Meaning you, who's listening. Judgment. I, I definitely feel deeper awareness. Knowledge is power. You're breaking a cycle. Queen of Wands. This is for your best interest. It's important that you speak out. It's important that you are seen and heard on your terms, not when it's convenient for others. Three of Wands. There's something that is ready to come in. There's something that is long overdue to come in, actually. It's not that it's ready to come in. It's it's long overdue to come in. And it feels like a slight twist is what's going to make it temperance. This is reminding me of earlier when I was talking about there's aspects within the self that you may not fully accept yet or fully like about a situation and you're trying to like make it work or you're trying... You're having a hard time accepting it. You're having a hard time liking it. This could be things within yourself. This could be what's causing you to find yourself in this position again. Or in this position where you're afraid to speak up. But you should speak up. You definitely should. You definitely should. Again, ask this thing or this person or whatever. Listen. You know, I need you to make me a promise. Where, where? Especially with Chariot, where are we going? Where is this headed? What is up? What are we doing? What's the plan? I need this from you. If we're going to make this, I need to see what you are contributing. I need to see your plan, your vision. Bring that to the table. And then we can take it from there. If not, I'm going to stop putting in as much energy and effort into this. Because you're saying that this is for the both of us, but right now it kind of feels like I'm carrying it for the both of us. Or for the team. Can we talk about, let's talk about money for this week. What's money looking like? Ace of Cups. So there's definitely an offer that's going to be throwing showing up um check your email something about your your email creative like an offer hey like we're willing to work with you on this like what do you say and maybe this is another thing where you you really want to speak your truth your you have a lot to offer yep two of wands who am i going to want to work with who am i going to want to collab with what am i going to connect with what do i want to build with what are we building so just one more card on money and finance and work. Judgment card again. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is just about, it, you could really be, asked, be um, called right now to ask for more. Um, from For a project, for your services, don't be afraid to charge. If you charge less in the past, it's time to charge more now. Inflation is real. Times are tough. And if you are developed, if you're skilled, then you're clearly worth it. So ask, ask for more. Let's let's look into love for this week of November 15th. This card really wants to jump out. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups, interesting. 
Two of Pentacles reversed. Tower card reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. The reason why I'm pulling so many cards is because there's a story here, it feels like. I feel like there's two more cards that need to come out. And there they are. Star card and the Five of Wands. One thing that's standing out to me, you guys, is this message that I did my feeling of remember when there's this feeling of remember when we did this, remember when I felt this, remember when, remember when, remember when. It doesn't feel bad. It definitely feels nostalgic. And it makes sense too with Six of Cups here. It's like going back to simpler times, going back to the basics, going back to the beginning. And this feels like you, you should be doing this fearlessly. Don't be afraid to reignite, to rekindle. That feels, it's like with the tower card, it feels... I don't want to say life changing. It feels like life has already been changed. It's 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 picking up the pieces of what has been disrupted, how things have changed, how we've grown, how we're evolving, what we want now. And I was going to say figuring out how to make it work, but I don't think that you should be figuring it out. I feel that You, whether you're single in a relationship, you're going to give spirit the space to divinely inspire you into action. I do not want to see anyone this week thinking too rationally or spending too much time overthinking relationships, bonds, connections, or anything like that with the Ace of Swords. I This is the card of thinking, but I, I actually see you stabbing the sword into the ground and saying kind of to yourself like enough is enough and I want to kind of rest I want to you know what's funny I was looking at I thought this was the five of wands this card here it's actually the ten of wands but I'm seeing the five of wands I'm seeing the five of wands as all these wands that are on the ground and the ten of wands is the man who's finally like, Jesus, you know, it's like, we've done so much. I've gone so far. It's been such a, a battle. And the five of wands is the fight to get to this point, the ten of wands, where a part of you is very, very exhausted. And there's this pause that needs to happen this week where instead of you going in and fight, not fighting, but fixing, doing, all this extra stuff that you feel like you should be doing or that you feel like should be happening within your love life, it kind of feels like Spirit is saying, stab the sword into the ground temporarily and allow the waters to kind of cool themselves. What you want, what you're living for, what you invested in, what you desire will prevail is the word that is coming through. And I want to show... I want to shuffle really quickly from the African Tarot. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the World card here. And the Four of Cups. This is the energy of, I am unamused. This is unacceptable. So, whatever it is that's going on in the love life, it's we're just going to take a pause. We're going to take a little break from the expectations, from the movement, from the progressing forward. We're just going to be where we're at. We're just going to be where we're at. Spirit, give us some advice. Wheel of Fortune. Mm. What is the Wheel of Fortune's advice? This means that you, how things are fated to reveal themselves, how they're fated to unfold, and how they're fated to unravel is not something that you can 
tweak. The more hands-on you are, the more you're going to exhaust yourself, stab the sword into the ground. The sword is your wisdom, your intellect, your word, your will. Stab it into the, the ground for a temporary moment and allow the cards to fall as they may, as they will, when it comes to the love life. Don't try to fix anything, change anything, tweak anything. The star card is going to make sure, and especially with the Wheel of Fortune card, that things will reveal themselves and unveil themselves as they should, as they may, without you tweaking it in any way, shape, or form. Let's look at general messages. I'm getting a vision of a lock box with a little code on it or almost like a combination lock to a locker. Oh, Empress card, beautiful. And the death card reversed. So general messages for this week. I just heard the word exposure. I just heard the word exposure. This is a cautionary message that's saying it's like I'm actually seeing someone, oh wow, I'm actually seeing someone, which makes sense because the lock, the, the code. I'm seeing someone closing the door for privacy. This Empress energy is kind of reminding me of a woman or a person who is going into a fitting room or going into a changing room in order to get dressed and they close the door for their own privacy and in that room while you're you know, getting dressed up, it's like your, your time. It's your time. And the code, the lockbox is there because you're the only person who should have this combination. So with exposed, there's parts of you that don't need to be exposed or revealed this week. This is things that you kind of keep to yourself, not in order to be intentionally secretive or weird, but just, yeah, King of Pentacles. It's like holding on to your cards, not revealing everything. I don't feel this as a warrant. I just feel like, not that you'll be taken advantage of, but it feels like you're giving back to yourself by not giving so much. But it also feels like a very specific message. Dive a little deeper if you, if you can. Yeah, three of wands. There's this message of don't reveal all of your cards. In general um, don't reveal all of your cards it feels like something is someone's going to take advantage of you um, or there you're at risk of being taken advantage of someone taking your niceness to like taking your niceness and, and taking it too far what they're asking for I just heard the word pledge they want you to like pledge to something be a part of something and you just kind of close the door and kind of lock it put that combination on there be a little unavailable there's things that you need to take care of for yourself empress however you identify the empress energy she has to she's she's she needs to take care of herself i'm seeing a lot of you guys getting involved in fitness lifestyle changes grounding yourself getting out in nature deep breaths of air more mindful of your water intake. Yeah, Five of Cups just showed up. This is very self-nurturing, self-soothing. Four of Wands. You're just having a, a sanctuary, a safe space right now. Judgment card, Knight of Cups, and the Hermit. These are things that you... It, it Not that it feels long overdue, but it's, it's just time. It's just time. Any last messages? And I'm going to use the African Tarot. That one wanted to jump out. Yeah, nine of wands. <laughs> this is a funny story. I'm going to share it with you really quickly. I forget what I was on. I was either on a skateboard. You guys know me. I'm, I like adventure. I was on a skateboard or on my skates or something. It was a bike. Yep. Was it a bike? 
I think it was a bike, and I was on the Schuylkill River in Philadelphia, and I fell off my bike. Oh, yeah. It was so frustrating, dude. It was so frustrating. I remember this. And I was with my ex, and he was very competitive. And he was just, he just blasted ahead of me <laughs> on, on his bike. And I couldn't, something about my bike or something about whatever we were on, and I couldn't get it. And the fucking wheels locked up or something. And he was so far ahead of me just to prove his own point that he had left me. And I fell off my bike or fell off whatever. And I was so frustrated and I was so ready to break up with his ass. And I fell off my bike and this guy who was jogging on the Schuylkill River Trail passes by me. And he's like, never give up. And just kept going. And it's kind of, it's become like an inside joke between me and some of my friends from Philly. Because they're just like, never give up. This guy just kept going. And, um... I mean, clearly I broke up with my boyfriend, not because of that, but it was a combination of things, and that didn't help <laughs> Virgos be like. <laughs> but that's the vision that it is that I'm getting right now with this Nine of Wands card, is this message of, don't give up. You know, shit is a little weird sometimes, but don't give up. And where you're headed, where you're going is going to be pretty dope. Look at this, Two of Cups, come on now, Two of Cups. It also feels very healing. It feels very cathartic. And I don't know about you, but that is such a vibe. I love you guys. You know where you can find me. If you need me, I'm at BahadiLife.com, working in the apothecary, making candles, per use, for my clients, working my magic, per use. Um, and also living my life to the fullest, because that's what we're here for, man. It feels really good to be here, alive, breathing, and I hope that you feel the same way. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are feeling, how this message resonates. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and I want to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention and alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.